This video is sponsored by My Little Universe, a new game releasing on Nintendo Switch on October 5th that has a playable demo available right now. In the demo, you play a character named Stickman. You crashed your spaceship on a barren island in the middle of somewhere. Without any instructions, you're trying to piece together materials and explore islands as you discover a mysterious portal that is your only way out. You'll need to gather resources to open new areas and explore the territories around you. The goal of the demo itself is to fix the portal, but there's so much more in the full game. And you know what? That full game is going to be available for a 10% discount from October 5th through October 12th. Now, the demo itself lasts about one and a half to two hours. But again, the demo is only available until the game launches. At that point, you might as well just get the full game. And whether you take my word for it or not, you can watch plenty of videos online about it because this game is amazing. But here's the thing. Let's dive right into this game. There is so much to do in this game, and I would describe it as more of a relaxed experience. If you enjoy resource grinding, this game is going to be right up your alley with exploration involving several diverse environments. There is a decent variety in just the demo alone, let alone the full game with enemy types like crabs and sharks to literal pirates. You can upgrade your tools and weapons. There's also a supercharged attack, which you can hold B and chop down all the trees, mine all the stones and defeat all the enemies nearby. I didn't really take advantage of this as much as I preferred to play with a slower pace. There is local co-op, something I know Eric from the Nintendo Prime podcast will really appreciate. So you can gather up to four friends together to help with the exploration, mining, and fighting. Having spent a good while with the game, I wanted to make sure I gave you some tips that may help you on your journey through it. I cannot state this enough. Really focus on upgrading your tools and weapons. This will enable you to gather more resources with each swing or do more damage with your attacks. Really explore and unlock fully every island you reach because there's always something worthwhile at the end of that exploration. Be it treasure or heavy resources to mine, hidden keys or uncovering secrets. I truly left no stone unturned in my play session and I loved every second of it. You can even swim if you like. I wouldn't really suggest it. You're bound to be taken out by a shark attack, but you will eventually get to ride rafts to explore the sea. Don't ever think you've gathered enough resources though. I've had over a thousand of each resource several times and still found myself falling short. Be sure to stock up. This is primarily a resource gathering game, so don't try to rush through things. Enjoy the music and the world. Oh, remember the spaceship that you maybe saw at the very beginning? Yeah, that crashed at the beginning of the game. You can go ahead and salvage that for some quick early game steel beams. So you're aware, you can't block enemy attacks. So when facing enemies, you will need to dodge their attacks. And how difficult the fight is will really come down to how much you upgraded your sword. If you dodge and run for a while, you can also regenerate your health. You can make the game a bit more challenging if you like by going to the options menu and setting it to manual controls. Personally, I enjoy the auto attacking and swinging as I was just trying to enjoy a more cozy experience, but this does add a bit more challenge to the fray and plenty of button mashing. I was told by the developers that I could fly on the asteroid that you'll eventually see in the first world flying around the planet, and I still haven't figured out just how to do that yet, and that's all the more reason for me to dive back into the game after this video. Honestly, this game is just a pure blast. And since the demo is free, you have no reason not to give it a try right now. And if the game has already come out, just enjoy that 10% discount. I'm buying it beginning October 5th through October 12th. We have a link down in the description to play the demo and or buy the game. And with that being said, I want to leave you with some pure gameplay so you get an idea of just how immersive this game can be. 